what's going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Steve and this is my boy honey. You see this bottle right here? The purple top. It's the almost legendary, or you could say legendary, the Willet Purple Top Bourbon. It's one of the most sought after bourbons that I know of, I think. Um, very expensive, very, very hard to get. And we'll talk about it a little more in a, in a little bit. I'm very excited. I have a funny story on behind how I got this bottle too, so stay tuned for that one. And I thought of something to pair with a bottle like this. And I thought maybe, you know, uh, something light, something sweet. Uh, so I picked these mochi donuts. I think they're Japanese mochi donuts. So we'll try it out together. We'll see what's what, and uh, we'll go from there. So, all right, sounds good. Let's get started. So Willet Distillery, they make various kinds of whiskeys. Uh, one of them is this one right here, but they got, I think they got the most popular one, the Four Year Rye whiskey, which everyone loves. Um, they have like a nose mill. They got the 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 Willet pot sill that shaped like a little little lamp. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, those are the more general kinds. But this this purple bottle, they call it the purple top, is the most sought after one. You know, you can't really find this anywhere. And and it's when you do find it, it's hundreds, uh, if not thousands. And I've seen it, um, you know, for tens of thousands. So. I was very lucky to get this bottle and it was actually by luck. So the story behind it is, let me pour a little bit into the glass first. So there's a BevMo uh, in the area that I live in. And um, I was just in there, just browsing. I didn't have any idea of, you know, picking out this bottle or anything, or I wasn't looking for anything. Uh, so I go to the bourbon section and usually there's like a glass case where they keep all the uh, more rare bourbons and I see this bottle hiding behind two of the regular Willet uh, green top the, the rye whiskey ones at first I thought oh my goodness I You know, it's probably I'm just mistaken. How can I see a purple bottle? Um, out in the open like this uh, or out in the wild so I had to go double take and um, It was purple. It was just hiding behind those two green bottles my guess is that employee just didn't know too much about this and just put it together with the, the other wallet bottles. My heart stopped. I asked the employee, can I see it? The employee said, sure, she took it out um, and gave it to me and it was purple. It was the uh, the bourbon. So I bought it, I think I bought it for $120 out the door. Um, and that's that. I, I remember my heart was beating for a little bit, really fast um, for like a you know good minute. And I could, I just couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. So, so that's the story behind it. It's not, it's not some fancy. I went to, a, I don't know, I went to an auction or lined up for hours to get it. No, nothing like that. I walked in to a Bevmo, saw it behind the glass case, randomly behind certain bottles. I just picked it up and walked out. So, I got, I got lucky. So that's the story behind it. So let's try it out, and I'll share my thoughts with you. I, I had a little bit over the. A oh, um, couple weeks ago, I had a little bit, and uh, since then I haven't had it. So there you go. The color. Let's do the color first. Very golden, amberish golden color. Um, not much to it. It's pretty viscous. Oh, be before I go on, it's this one is a five-year one, five-year old bourbon, uh, barrel number three one one six. 54.6% uh, by uh, alcohol percentage and 109 proof. So it's one of the younger ones, I believe. I think they have the four year ones as well. Obviously, the older it gets, the more expensive it is. But um, this one is a five year old bourbon. Let's go for the nose. It's pretty strong for, for 100, 109 proof. cherry uh, scent coming through, uh, some vanilla, just some fruity and sweet. So, all right, here we go. I'm excited. Cheers. Okay, right away, there's a little bit of heat, a little bit of heat, but it doesn't sting you. 
it doesn't scrape anything off your mouth. And it sort of stays um, with you all the way till the end. Flavor-wise, I do taste sort of apricot, almost like a, like a well-ripe apricot. Um, not the crunchy uh, apricot, but like more, more mushy apricot. Very oily, very oily. Very oily. I, I can literally feel it going down slowly against all surface of my mouth as it goes down here. Finish is pretty good. Finish is pretty darn good. Plum notes right at the end. A little bit of licorice notes coming through. Licorice, like apricot, like a like a well-ripe apricot, and plums. Yeah, a lot of plums now. Not much woodiness, not much oakiness. The finish is amazing, actually. It's it, it, as I said, it's still going, but it's very, very subtle, like almost like silky from start to finish it's very silky like velvety almost uh, i don't want i don't even i don't, I don't care about the donuts almost uh, i just want to keep drinking this cheers i taste a little bit of like almonds maybe i'm just looking for it but no apricots plums um brown sugar brown sugar very sweet and the mouthfeel is so gentle and long lasting and cody but it's it's not abrasive it's silky all the way down so good it's so good oh one more sip before i go for the, i gotta try the donuts i bought them anyway so might as well try them Yeah, this one is not as strong as some of the other purple tops that I've seen, you know, I've posted or online or whatever. I know there's some that are at 60% alcohol, you know, high 50s, but this is, you know, 55, 54.6. So it's, I mean, it's decent. It's, I mean, it's strong, but it's not, it's not very potent. All right, that's good. That's good. Oh, let me show you. So this is bottle number 171 out of 194 of this barrel, and it's the it says Bevmore 2022 barrel number three. So, yeah, I'm excited. This was this was quite a luck, and I'm I'm so lucky to have it. And it 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 is delicious. It lives up to the hype. I think it's epic. It's absolutely epic. It's sublime. Um, once it once it hits the palate, the nose is okay. It's just no, I don't think that nothing spectacular about the nose. But man, when, when it hits the, the tongue and all the way down um, your tubes, it, it's just a journey, guys. It's just a journey. Before I finish this, let me have one of these donuts, mochi donuts. So again, I thought of what should I pair it with? Uh, should I pair it with, you know, like a main meal or something like that? But I thought it, this is the main character. Um, it's the protagonist. I don't want to overwhelm it with something strong. So I thought maybe just get like something fluffy, some light. I thought it would be good. Um, pair it with it. It's a mochi donut. This one's a strawberry. This one's Fuero Rocher, I think. This one's guava. And this one is ube, but I could be wrong on this one. Don't quote me on that. Okay, but I think the strawberry one's the best one. So we'll go for the strawberry. Show you close up. Real good. Very fluffy yet chewy. Different from regular donuts, where regular donuts you bite into them, it just, just sort of crushes and stays in that place like a 
like you're sitting on a couch. But this one, you bite on it, it keeps contracting, decontracting, and it's, uh, it's very, very good. All right. Let's try it with the, the expensive bourbon. $10 donuts with, I don't know, $1,000 bourbon. Let's try it. Cheers. You know what? I'm putting this down. Just gonna have one more little sip. Doesn't need any pairing this way. No, sir, not at all. And it was good with uh, donut, but I think I think I just want to keep drinking by itself. Cheers. Let me have a little more. Oh God, it's so good. So that the mouth feel. It's like lathering on like apricot, like jam, like a plum jam. So good, so good. You know, I was thinking about it before, uh, right before I filmed this episode. I was like, okay, why is will it? Why is this bourbon so exclusive? Why is this so everyone wants it? Why, why does everyone want to chase it? Um, and I was doing some research. And so will it? They're they're its own distillery. Um, you know, and they're not as big as you know the Buffalo Trace or or the you know Heaven Hill or Wild Turkey. They're nearly not as big. From what I understand, it's one fourth the size. And even within that distillery, they make a bunch of other bottles. You know, the the rice or the other kind of whiskey. But this one, they don't make as much, um, and they age it for whatever number of years. So supply is very limited, like extremely limit, limited. And they're very secretive about their, their mash bill, what, what it contains and all that stuff. So I think the bottom line, it just there's just not enough of this good stuff. And there's you know this high demand for bourbon in general, and everyone wants a good bourbon, and this they're just not pumping out enough bourbons, probably on purpose. I don't I don't blame them. So I think it's a more of a supply demand issue. Um, I really wish you know, everyone could sort of enjoy without spending you know thousands or whatever they're they're spending or whatever but but it is what it is it is what it is um, and i'm just lucky to have the opportunity to to taste it um, i just got lucky that's the bottom line so, cheers last sip i'll never let this go to waste oh yeah plum jam Plum jam. Plum jam with a little bit of honey. Yeah, it's delicious. Absolutely delicious. So what do I think? Um, again, for 120 bucks that I pay for, oh my god, I'll pay for it. I'll probably pay up to 200 maybe even 300 for this, but now that I taste it. But, you know, um, sky's the limit on, on these kind of, these bottles when it comes to price. So, you know, it's, it's easy for me to say, oh, don't spend that much, but you know, it's, if you come across one and if you could afford it and you got money to burn and it's, it's your money. But, you know, 420 bucks is absolutely sublime. It's, it's a must pick up. Um, I wish I could share it with you uh, if I can, but, but this is the best I could do to convey my, my uh, appreciation and my, my delight for having this bottle, so. I am very lucky, I'm very fortunate, so. Um, yeah, that's all I have for you today. Appreciate uh, joining me. Um, it's been it's been great so far. And uh, if you get a chance, click subscribe, click the like button at the bottom and comment below uh, if you get a second. Um, I, I would love to hear from you, so. Thanks so much, everyone. Uh, have a great one and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.